Oh my god, guys, I am so sorry. I have been passed out for two weeks. There's two new cars in GTA Online, and don't worry, we're gonna go buy them. But first, we have this one here. Uh, so there's a new muscle car and a new supercar. No one cares about the muscle car because they suck, but the supercar, the Devest 8, whew, that is going to be uh, the one that we, people care about. But we are in the OG Devest 8. This is actually the Devel 16, the car that that uh, new car in GTA is based off of. Uh, the one in real life has a quad turbo V16 engine with that makes 5,000 horsepower. Now, it doesn't exist yet, but they're making it. And that thing is fast. And this one is is uh, designed to be as fast as that car would in real life. So let's see how fast this one is. And let's go. Uh-huh. Okay, so this is pretty quick. Uh-huh. 200. Oh, 300. 300. Oh, we made it to 300. Oh, look at this, huh? Oh. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Yep, that one's not going anywhere anytime soon. All right, but let's go ahead and hop into real GTA and see what the two actual cars are like and see if they can compare to this one. They probably can't, but this one's also really, really fast. So let's go GTA. All right. Uh, ooh, okay, we finally made it back here. I made it all, all the way from Sandy Shores all the way back down to South San Andres. Quite a quite a walk, especially after I destroyed my car. But we are here. I changed my shirts because my nipples started bleeding. But we have two new cars to buy. And, of course, the one that everyone cares about. Ew. No, 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 no. No one cares about that one. Gross. Ew. This one, the Napalm Nova, also known as the Death Proof Nova, also known as a Chevy Nova. And I have not seen the liveries for this. Uh, let's go ahead and just do Garage 3, because that's where I do all, all the new ones that I buy. But if they don't have a livery that matches the no the Nova from Death Proof, I'm going to be so flipping peeved. It's not even going to be hilarious. So you can buy that car. Let's go ahead and buy the Principe de Vest 8, because everyone know knows that uh, half the cylinders means twice the power. Go ahead and buy that one in white, and we'll get that one delivered to Garage 3 as well. We will make our way over there and uh, get these babies modified and see what they look like and how they perform. All right, there's car number one and car number two. All right, so this one looks, it's a very uh, cab forward design. Well, I guess it has to have a V, well, this one doesn't have a V16 in the back, but the, the real one would. Uh, so, you know, that's what we care about. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and modify the one, the car that is on everyone's minds because it came out a couple days ago and I'm totally on time with both of these. This one, because Death Proof, and if you haven't seen the movie Death Proof or Planet Terror or either of those Grindhouse movies by Tarantino and, uh, Robert Rodriguez, watch them. They're fucking terrible and they're amazing. So let's go and get this one modified, see if we can make it a Death Proof Nova, and if we can't, then why not? Alright guys, we are done. Enjoy of joys, they find- oh, no, go away. He ruins everything. They have the skull hood from the 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 uh, 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 death proof Nova. Oh, I'm so happy. I mean, I put my little my own little twist on. It. Obviously, it's not black because the movies in the or the cars in the movie were vinyl wrapped black, not painted. They were wrapped. Fun fact. Uh, they got the skull on there, and then also if you look down there, there's two turbos coming out of the little grill. So we got little turbos, a little extra speed, and then of course all the extra you know blue that everyone seems to love. So let's go. Oh, and it also has the the jump seat in there, so that's always good. Oh god, I love that horn. Uh, let's go ahead and exit the ground, drive this baby around, see how it handles. Uh, spoilers. Remember the no the tulip that we drove uh, a couple weeks ago? Yeah, it's basically that again. All right. Oh shit, it's raining. Well, this is not the ideal environment for a car like this, but we will make the best of it nonetheless. Gotta. Sometimes I, I miss not having absolute power. Uh, so, obviously it's a muscle car, and I got the wheelie bar on it, so we can do a little, uh, brake stand, and woo, wheelie, oh, that's a terrible wheelie. Has a parachute on it, though, which probably doesn't work. Does, oh, god, okay, so this, it's, it's a bit harder to drive, um, in the rain. But, uh, since I can't drive it properly, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you how it drives, uh, based on facts and data from Brophy, because he actually does real work on GTA, unlike me, where I just kind of drive. Um, this car has basically the same handling as that Tulip, which means that uh, if you go o two wheels over a bump, it pulls to the left. On the left side, it pulls to the right, so it has really weird handling characteristics in bumps. Um, and then also, the advanced handling flags make it basically undrivable when you do hit a bump. And it's just really not that fast, especially compared to stuff like the Yosemite, the uh, Click, and the Pisswasser Dominator. Those things just annihilate everything in the muscle cars class, whereas pretty much everything else is kind of 
stuck down below. So, yeah, I mean, it's a, if you like the Deathproof Nova, you can make one of your own. Absolutely get it for that, but if you're wanting to do anything competitive or get away from people trying to kill you in GTA, which doesn't happen very often, but on the off chance it does, probably not the best car for you. So, uh, you should probably stay away from this one. But we are here to test two cars, and car number two is coming up very shortly. All right, here is the Devest 8, the um, oddly proportioned supercar. But let's go ahead and get this baby modified and uh, see if there's anything cool with it. Okay, oh, the turbos do turn off when the car is turned off. Okay, I was worried about that. I thought Rockstar might have uh, forgotten to make animations. But let's get this baby modified and see how it do. All right, and here she blows, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, I went with a gold color scheme on the outside because I had a, a livery for it. Green on the interior, obviously. And then um, they had an option for a gold turbine exhaust, but it's it's kind of hard to see back there. I, I guess it's in there. I can't really see. I went through all the exhaust options, and you couldn't really tell which one's which. So I just went with that one because there's gold, and everyone loves gold. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, drive this baby around. And see if it can keep up with its real-world counterpart, which doesn't actually exist yet. All right, so we are outside. We magically appeared here somewhere. Don't know how we made it all the way over here, but I guess we're going to have to do an apples-to-apples -apples test of the speed of the other one. Um, I was going to open up the boot lid to see what kind of engine that they decided to model in here. And apparently you can't do that. So we're just going to have to uh, imagine that this is running with fairy dust. Um, and then the doors just kind of do this, which they're, they're actually, do they? oh, there's no hinges. Okay, so the doors can float. They have conquered gravity. Um, so we're going to do an apples and apples comparison. I don't have a speedometer installed in regular, oh my god, go away, China man. I'm trying to make a voodoo. So I don't have a speedometer installed, but you guys remember what 300 miles an hour look like. Let's go ahead and just imagine or com do a comparison for this one. So ready and let's go. Hey, thank you, doors. Gravity is affected by them now. Oh. Hmm. This is quick. Uh, not 300 miles an hour quick, though. But we'll know once we go off this jump at the end if our car is destroyed from the speed. No, it landed it just fine. So, that was not 300 miles an hour, but it was pretty quick. In fact, it is damn near the same speed as the Pafister 811. Or 811, however you pronounce it. Which, as you probably know, is the fastest supercar that doesn't have rocket power. No, is it fastest supercar? Fastest, yeah, fastest supercar that's not powered by rockets like you can actually use in races. Um, and that's a very, very fast car. So this one actually does very well for itself in the straight line speed area. Right when you get this thing to a corner or any form of bump whatsoever, it just shits the bed. There's a dirt road here, but uh, you can probably see the car. I mean, it has advanced handling flags, so it bounces around like a mofucker. Does not like corners very well. Doesn't have very good grip. And, uh, like I said, it just doesn't handle very well. Straight line, great. So if you're going to be playing or driving on a, or doing stunt races or races that have a lot of straight areas, some, you know, banked curves, not very technical curves or corners or anything, and very few bumps, so like stunt track pieces, uh, this will actually be a very good choice to choose because it has great acceleration, great straight line speed, and not much else. Um, it is quite expensive, though. But it does look pretty cool, and you'll have the new supercar in the game. So, this one gets a tentative thumbs up for me. The Nova does not get a thumbs up because it's terrible unless you specifically want a Nova. I already forgot what it's called in game. I'm just going to call it the Nova because that's what it is. But anyway, that has been the two new vehicles. I think this weekend coming up, actually, no, today, yeah. So, this weekend coming up is the final weekend you can log into GTA to get $250,000 deposited into your bank account. Which uh, will be a nice down payment on one of these vehicles if you decide to buy them. Or any of the new ones that have been released. Or any vehicle uh, for that matter. So go ahead and log in. I don't think there's anything new going on. Uh, I think there's oh, uh, double RP and cash on the Doomsday Heists. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Sorry about the delay. I was just completely blackout drunk for two weeks. And we finally got to see the vehicles. So yay for that. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. And I will see you next time.